I've really grown close to all my professors, and specifically this semester, I've been with Hannah Dean a lot because she's teaching my painting two class. And she's been so great, like, focusing on me personally because she knows how I paint. She'll come up to me and show me, like, art competitions that she thinks I'd be good in. And she knows what works best for me because she really knows me, like, personally because I'm not just another student. I think it's really good in the art program how each teacher knows your own style, your own way of doing things, so they can like tell you techniques that would help you personally, instead of like an overall general guidelines for the class. So what I teach in my art classes, I like to break them up. The beginners, I kind of hit them with everything. Uh, we do clay, we do painting, just an intro, uh, drawing of course. My transition into the workforce, it, it was a little untraditional. Um, I was actually still here finishing up my certification and that involved me doing a year-long internship in the classroom and, and that was really nerve-wracking at first but LCU really prepared me well and so I got in there and I found hey I know what I'm doing and this is awesome and this is fun I can't wait to, to keep doing this. One of the things that I take with me every day into my classroom is my experiences here at LCU. My teachers cared about me, uh, they cared about what I was going through in my life and they cared about me growing and me improving and that's something that maybe not every school gives but I definitely had that here. Three paths that you can take in the BFA we offer graphic design, art education, and the bachelor's in fine arts in painting and drawing which is studio art. I'll start with graphic design there you would learn the Adobe Suite, you would learn Illustrator, Photoshop, it would culminate in an internship where you work with either a graphic design house or maybe a university. The second option that we offer is art education. Because it's a BFA, they will be taking a lot of studio courses, so they get to hone their, their studio skills and develop a depth of work rather than just a breadth of knowledge. And I think that's really appealing to schools to have someone who is an artist as well as an educator, you know, kind of equal parts. And that will culminate in either a senior exhibition and mounting that or through a community or classroom based project. And then the third um, offering that we have is the BFA in painting and drawing which is um, very studio heavy and it's preparing them to be artists. What is really great about that degree is that not only are they developing the how to make work, but also the what do I do when I graduate with these skills. We focus on um, teaching them professional practices like how to speak to a gallery, how to talk about their work, maybe in academic or informal settings. You know, pretty basic professional practice and, and standards for the artist in the real world. So study abroad in Spain is something that we offer to our students. While they're there, they are experiencing um, the things that they're studying in, in art history books. It's so different to see, you know, an eight foot painting in a picture versus seeing it in person. The art department here has a really extensive history of travel. We've taken, you know, one and two week trips to Italy, to Austria, to Turkey. It's my hope that whenever students come here with their BFA, that they come away with First of all, mad studio skills. Rigor in the studio is, is hugely important to this degree, but also that they come away with the ability to present themselves, the ability to present their work. They have the time, the space, the instruction to, to really develop their skills and their ideas. The atmosphere of LCU is very unique and um, incredible in a lot of ways.